Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today's drive-by. It's 84 degrees. I'm on the I-75 going northbound towards Tampa, Florida. I have to go down to the uh, FedEx over there and pick up a package. Listen, uh, it's uh, 84 degrees. Um, and today is the 15th of October, 2014. Let me jump over to the right lane here because I'm not going really fast. I'm only going 70 and there's people wanting to go 80. But anyway, um, it's about 421 in the afternoon and today is Wednesday. Listen guys, I wanted to say something about the Florida elections coming up. Uh, right now they're going to be voting for the governor. Governor, um, the governors of Florida, Scott, Rick Scott, and Governor Christ. And I like I say, uh, I feel that if you are a Florida resident, really the best choice to vote for is Governor uh, Chris for governor. The reason is he's got one really, really, really important thing, which is, affects a lot of people in Florida. And um, it's uh, automatic reinstatement of rights for non violent felons. And the only reason I say this, this affects a lot of people. And I'll give you an example. If you were convicted of a felony, a non-violent felony, that means maybe, you know, you had a DWI or uh, uh, there, 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 there was something, you cheated on your taxes or you, know, you were young and you stole something, you know, something that's non-violent doesn't in involve like a gun shooting somebody, beating somebody up. It could even be you got pulled over for a little pot in your car or something. So it's non-violent felons, okay? You are automatically reinstated all your benefits to own a gun, you know, to, to all those things. You get all your rights back after you serve your time. So if you go to prison for this and you come out, then automatically all your rights are reinstated and um, they knock that felony out. So you can hold public office, you can do a lot of things. Because really, you know, if you think about it, nonviolent felons, okay, are, they're not dangerous people. Nonviolent could be somebody embezzles money from a bank. I mean, give me a break. That doesn't affect his right to have a gun. And a lot of people will tell you that. Uh, you know, gun dealers will tell you that. Everybody will tell you that. Um, but I really form, uh, firmly believe that Governor Christ, if you're in Florida, is a good choice. And that's who I'm voting for. Uh, because uh, he is better than Governor Scott. Governor Scott doesn't give a crap. You get it, you got it for life. He's really not thinking about it. You know, they're all multi-millionaires, so who gives a shit? But it should not be a barring thing to anything if you get a felon, or you're a felon, or a felony. Because a felony is anything over $300. They make it sound so serious. I mean, it's, it's not like every person that got convicted of a felony is a murderer. There's many uh, cases where, you know, somebody could be involved in a felony. And I really think if you're any true, you know, person who believes in the Constitution of the United States, everybody be, uh, should have another chance. And I would highly recommend Governor Chris for, uh, for governor, uh, for Florida, because just on that one thing, I don't really care about everything, just on that one thing, um, that's the way to go because the Governor Scott doesn't care. He's overturned everything. He does not care about that. I would definitely go with Governor Christ. Uh, and this is just my drive-by saying, and um, you know, definitely, especially in Florida, you know, uh, you, you, we have so many people from different parts of the country coming here too. So uh, definitely, I would vote for him. You know, my, uh, you know, my, my ballot box is definitely gonna be checked for him. I am gonna vote for him. And uh, I think it's the way to go. If I could do some canvassing for him and handing out flyers, I would definitely do this for the guy because I really believe that, you know, he is the way to go. Um, and uh, I'm, I'd like to get proactive in there and hand out some or do some donating, hand out some flyers when I could or something like that for Governor Chris. But uh, if you're going to be voting, you know, if I can make any kind of... Um, and really, there, there should be some avenues that can help people because you know people get arrested all the time they don't know where to go and the only person making money are the lawyers the judges the court system and the bail bonds the guy getting arrested is making shit he, you know basically he gets a felony 
he gets ostracized from society, he has no civil liberties or rights, he can't even hold office, own a gun, or even vote, and then he's got to pay. And then he's got to be expected to go and, and, and have a job and work. And, and how the hell are you going to do that to somebody? I can see if somebody gets shot or he rapes somebody or kills somebody, yeah. I mean, but if, you know, it's a non-violent felony, a non-violent non felony would be drugs, would be, uh, you know, stealing something, or, you know, uh, libelous, slanderous, it could be anything like that. You know, copyright infringement, cheating on your taxes. Those are nonviolent. I mean, the guy, believe me, if, you know, if I had a company, if I was hiring somebody and he had a nonviolent felony, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd still hire the guy. Come on. Let, let's get realistic. Everybody out there has probably done something in their life that can considered to be a nonviolent felony if you got caught. Believe me, there, there is so many books on, uh, laws on the books that anybody could get arrested. And, and I really feel strong, I would say, that that's why I am voting for Governor Crisp for Florida. And uh, look at his policies, but especially that one on, on nonviolent uh, felony, uh, automatic re restoration of rights is, 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 is very important for you guys that live in Florida. And I really think that's like, believe me, that would probably override everything because, um, you can restore your rights. I mean, I'd vote for the guy, you know, and give, you know, people a second chance that have paid their their debt to society. But thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Um, and uh, that's just, you know, my opinion, but that's who I'm voting for. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, and thanks for tuning into my drive-by. Also, this drive-by goes out to Buffman. He's got the uh, kick-ass uh, YouTube channel. He does uh, all these... Um, Reviews on 5.7 ammunition and uh, uh, 5.7s, and he's got a lot of shooting videos. You'll find uh, probably the most elite ammunition uh, reviews too up there on uh, on YouTube for Buffman. But thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day, and uh, may the force be with you.